Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are at the All Spice Institute in the beautiful Saffron Kitchen. And of course, right beside me is Chef Ambrose. Hi. Chef, today is a very colourful display of what you're doing. I know this is a very, very traditional dish. Yes. But I think the audience deserves to know how and what this procedure is for nasi ulam. Did I say it correctly? Yes, nasi right. ulam. Tell me, what you were just sharing, I, I still can't believe I'm Okay, this. actually uh, this uh, nasi ulam, uh, in the old days, uh, Perangkan are very uh, uh, conscious about wasting food. So they will keep the leftover rice and the next day they will prepare this nasi ulam. Actually, mm -hmm. it's a version of a rice salad. But uh, there's uh, some history into this dish where the mom of the matriarch of the family will actually invite the uh, future daughter-in-law or the son's girlfriend and she will test their cooking skill with this dish? Yes, with this dish. Okay. And with this, there's a lot of cutting skill and preparation work to be done. So yeah. with all the cutting and of course we yes. know that there is a second state to it, right? So yes. you're telling me that if, if the, the girl passes this and does this dish well, that's 50% yeah. only. Yes, 50% to go. All right, chef, you have to show us the 50% right now. Okay. But I got a question, the color rice, let's yeah. talk about that first. Okay, over here, I actually uh, created uh, three different types of rice. I'm using the uh, uh, brown rice, uh, so give you a very nice texture than a normal fragrant rice. It's a bit hard, okay? Mm. There's a texture in it. Mm. So for this yellow one, I use a uh, fresh turmeric to color it. Mm -hmm. And over here, I'm using the uh, blue pea flower, which you can see over here is a fresh one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's in a dry form. And uh, with this dry form, I will boil with uh, warm water to extract the color, which is over here, the liquid here. Okay. You see. Oh, wow. And just like a blue ink. Yeah. Right. Yes. So it's actually it's uh, very useful. You can. Uh, used for your food colouring and it's natural. All right. And over here is just a normal plain steam rice. All right. Yeah. So once this is, uh, I, I, I think it's, it's so much in front of me. Yes. What are we going to do first? We're going to do some cutting? Yes, certainly. There's a lot of cutting to do. And there's about uh, 900 spices over here. So let me uh, go through with you one by one. So over here I have uh, turmeric and it needs to be small dice. Okay. As far as possible, 1 mm by 1 mm. And over here is shallots. Okay. Fresh shallots, so I'm going to do a quick cutting. And very thin slice shallots. Okay. Right. And over here is the kaffir lime leaf. Okay. I remove the stalk. I just uh, only need two or three leaves. So there's a technique. We roll it like a small little cigar. Okay. And this one has to be micro thin. But micro thin? Yeah. Alright. Which is it less is than. A, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it is. Oh my goodness. And that smell is coming out of it. Yes. The so the essential oil of the herbs. It's actually vaporizing into the air. Wow. Yeah, you can smell it. Huh? Yeah, I can smell it. Okay, now we have the couple of lime leaf done. Uh, we'll go into the fresh up. Okay, can you tell me what's this? Chef, I have no idea. This is a bitter nut leaf. A bitter nut leaf? And over here, of course, do you eat laksa? Yes, laksa leaf. Yeah, laksa leaf. Okay. And there's one more hiding here is the mint leaf. Mint, yes. Okay. And somewhere here there's one more herbs is Thai basil leaf. Okay. Okay. So we have four fresh ones. Okay. So what I need to do is only to pluck up the leaf. Okay. They are all very uh, aromatic. And then actually uh, there's uh, some uh, uh, medical property on all the herbs and spices, so it's actually very healthy because it's all being consumed raw and fresh. Wow. Okay. So this dish, this yeah. particular dish, has all of this mixed in. 
Yes. My goodness. Okay. So what I'll do is I will use the bitter nut leaf as a base. I put all my small little herbs inside. Okay. Okay, chef. Can I guess what you're gonna do next? I'm going to roll it up. You're gonna roll it up. Yeah. And you're gonna cut it. Yes. Like what I did with the kaffir lime leaf. Oh my goodness. Okay. So if the girl doesn't uh, learn well in the kitchen, she will probably cut individually. You know? Right. Perhaps the mother didn't taught her well. But if her mother is a very good chef, yeah. then she know all the shortcut. Oh my okay. goodness. And save time, right? That is absolutely amazing. So we have done this, this, this. Okay, now this one. Uh, what is this? Lemongrass. Yes. <laughs> we do the same. And lemongrass is the hardest uh, herbs among all this. So we have to cut very fine. Okay. So you can see now I'm removing the hard part. Okay. And I'm going to slice very thin. Okay. So again, everything, yes. almost everything of this dish has to be yes, thin. Yes, very thin. So if the herb is too, too rough, oh. you're going to have a very unpleasant uh, taste around your mouth, you see? Wow. Okay. You can smell the lemongrass, right? Yes, I can. Yeah. Done. So we'll... Ah, the last one. Okay, this is the ginger flower. Yes. And also known as a rojak flower. Okay. So we'll cut this in half. They are all very strong flavour herbs. So I'm going to thin slice it. Okay, we are done. So we'll do a double check, okay? We better put all the herbs here. So I'm going to put all the cups, uh, the cut uh, herbs in the bowl and we are going to mix with the rice. Okay. So all in. You might seem that it's too much, but actually it's not. And actually, this is the only dish in the whole world that we use turmeric raw. Raw? Raw. It's not been cooked. Wow. And turmeric actually is a very good herbs. If you Google, you can find lots of uh, good stuff about turmeric. Okay, not too much. Okay, about one teaspoon. Okay. okay, we mix up the herbs. Alright, chef, we can have to show the, yeah. for, to the audience, the camera. This is beautiful, amazing. Yes. Whoa, oh, the I smell. Can... Yeah. Amazing. Mm. Okay, now the interesting part to mix the color rice. Okay. Alright, so is there any sequence? Uh, no, you... no sequence. Okay, so you can put yes. it in yes. any order. Alright. So uh, I'll mix everything, but in, there's, there's another way you can do it. You just do it individually, yes. and then from there you can do a like a three color stack. All right. See? Okay. So for now, I just mix everything in, and also the uh, the amount of rice to the spices depend on your preference. preference. Yeah. You want strong stronger flavor, you add less rice. Okay. I, think that's... I like the color, so I'll add less of the white one. Yeah, the colour looks amazing. Yes. So, we will mix it up. Before we do anything, we need to season. Okay? Just plain salt. Because we don't use any seasoning like chicken seasoning in Kabbalah. Because we want to bring out the natural okay. flavour of the fresh herbs. So, how much of salt do you put in? Uh, your preference, uh, just put a bit, uh, two pinch. And uh, last but not least is the coconut oil. Wow. Because this is a rice salad. So we want to have a smooth texture in there and I actually use the coconut oil okay. because in uh, olden days uh, we use a lot of coconut oil and uh, there's a very distinctive flavour of, of this dish because can you smell the coconut oil? Yes mm. oh my goodness. Okay, now to mix everything in Alright, Chef, now we're here yeah. and you're going to show us how to plate it and how to display it. I see you have some uh, yes. banana leaf. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, first of all, get a nice uh, bowl, plate, okay, big, and then I'll put a piece of banana leaf on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And here we have finished uh, nasi ulam. So I'm going to do it a traditional way, uh, Indonesian way. I'm going to create a cone out of a fresh banana leaf. Okay. And I'm going to compress all the rice in there. Also all packed? Yes, everything. all packed. Oh, very nice. Hopefully I can get it nicely packed. Okay. You know what's the amazing thing, Chef? Everything, all the colours, they all work together. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And also oh. the colouring are all natural colours. Yeah. So would you fill it to the brim? Uh, actually, not too high because okay. it'll top off. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, to the height that you want. Okay. Wow. Then keep my finger crossed. Oops. Okay. If you fall off uh, a bit, it's okay. You just want to create a small little cone. Cone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the reason of doing this is because we are going to assemble the side condiments okay all around the uh, rice yes. okay for nasi ulam we serve it with shredded eggs omelette okay just a few on the side wow and before we consume we will just mix everything okay. oh so it's, it's going to be mixed up yes okay. it's going to be mixed mm -hmm. and uh, fry gambalis wow And then uh, fry grated coconut for texture. And lastly, we garnish with some mint leaf. Mint leaf? Yeah. So. It's actually a very beautiful dish. Yes. The end result, huh? Yeah. And at the same time, it's very aromatic. Yeah. We are from All Spice Institute. We have prepared many traditional and healthy heritage food for you to try. I will see you there at Let's Go Jalan Jalan Food and Music Festival. Let's go Jalan Jalan Festival.